Hit him with a car, yeah. 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 And we're back with the new crew back again in Ultra Drama Lago Maggio, the GB configuration. In the unofficial qualifying session, Christian got first, Menele got second, James got third. I don't know who was in fourth because they got marked by that pretty shady. Who in third is also marking James for third. What a start! But Houston got himself a good start, man. He, is, he has been sick and tired of all these guys mugging him off the start. So he made sure he got an amazing start in this race. Not as amazing as that's pretty shady, but good start nonetheless. And Menene, who got a very good start in that Lexus RCF. Very tough car to get off the line in a quick fashion. But down the field, you see all these cars, a gaggle of cars, man. A whole bunch of trash is going to be happening over here. Because most of the guys in this gaggle of cars, we don't even know. So let's hope things work out well for the guys stuck in that gaggle of cars. As we're on board with James in the McLaren 650S, man. And I'm trying to find something nice to say about the McLaren, but I can't find it. You guys know I hate McLaren, but I'm going to try to be professional, damn it. As the gaggle of cars is still together, you guys are going to have to fight through this pack. Whoever fights through this pack and gets ahead of this pack is going to have a chance to catch up with the lead battle. But if you guys stay here, the way in which you guys are all together on track, you are going to lose a lot of ground. And if you get out of this pack too late, look, look at the space between. These guys, you got a group of two, I have a group of two, and then behind James, look at the space they got already between James and the rest of the field. Man, these guys are going to have to sort themselves out. And so now on board with Menene, who's chasing Kristen for first place. He's doing well in this RCF. You guys know how much I hate that RCF, but he drives it well, catching up in the slipstream. Things are looking good. What the heck? What's happening over here? What happened? No. No, 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 hold on, hold on. I thought we left imaginary walls in Grand Turismo 6. What the heck happened there? I, I am, I am, I am perplexed. What is... Kasunori, man, what the heck is going on here? The man hit an imaginary wall. But hey, man, I feel bad for him. But Kloosten probably ain't feeling bad because he's got a decent lead now. He's in first place. James got, got past that pretty shady. Back up into second place. But this is some tough stuff, man. That's pretty shady. He's not giving up this battle for second place. I am confused. What happened to that guy? What happened to Ben Because I didn't see him hit nothing. He wasn't offline or anything. That's some weird stuff, man. Weird stuff. I flip me as we're back on board with That's Pretty Shady, who's chasing James for second place. And I see Clouston off the track. What happened to Clouston? What is happening in this race, man? First we went down from a potential battle of four cars fighting for the lead. Now we're down to two cars because Clouston went off. But at least Clouston's still in third place, man. But oh, goodness gracious, man. You can't, it's not like we got a script. There is no script because That's Pretty Shady is trying to seize the moment and try to get up into first place. He's trying to stress James in the PM with that lovely looking Deutsch post. Is that the way you pronounce it? You're gonna have to Google this at some point in time. Deutsch post? I don't know. Don't call me up on it. But that's pretty shady and James having a good fight for first place. James trying to break the toe as we're now on board with Clouston, who hopefully is on the start of a recovery trip. His only hope now is that James and that's pretty shady fight so hard he catches up. And that is a possibility. And the gaggle of cars is continuing. It's now down to two groups of three. So at least it's more manageable. But yeah, we see Lucky over here being stifled by Kappa GTI. Nitro right behind <laughs> Lucky. I do not know who that guy in 10th place in the M6 is. Sorry, it's said, okay, guys. Look here. It's a struggle to keep it track of people I know. Let them know. Let them know people I do not know. As well. Back on board again with that's pretty shady, man. He's looking good in this BMW M3 GT. This is one car I can't get on with, man. It just feels talkless. And I like my cars NA, but it just feels gutless, man. It revs to the moon and it doesn't feel like it's going fast. I feel like I'm. I don't really feel like I'm driving when I'm driving, and that's all I'm saying. As we look, the gaggle of cars is still too get a gosh darn it. I feel so sorry for guys who have good pace that are stuck in this gaggle of cars, man. This is this is gonna be a very frustrating race for some of these guys, man. Ooh, people out here backing it in. Amongst them is Nitro backing in that dude fruity Toyota FT1. Oh, have you seen the guy? I don't know. I'm gonna have to tell I'll find your name. Drew, Drew Lot. 
Yeah, you saved the M6, man. I know your name now. As we're back up uh, with James, who's still being chased by that pretty shady, who's giving him a flash of light, letting him know, hey, man, I'm the fastest postman out here. I'm out here trying to deliver some mail. Let me pass, please, man. People need their mail right now. He's trying to let, get James to let him pass, but James says, nah, sir. I'm a selfish guy. You all know that selfish people like McLaren and selfish people drive McLaren. Hey, hey, I'm trying to be professional here. Yeah. The McLaren is a lovely car. <coughs> <coughs> <laughs> I need some water. <laughs> Sorry, I'm turning lines out here. You know what? Let me, let me just stop talking about my clan. I'm also, <laughs> baby choking something. Is that pretty shady on the outside? Will it make it work? He takes a wide line. James takes an inner line. They both touch. They both touch the gravel. But it looks like that's pretty shady. Got a better exit. On board with James. Is he going to do it? We see a front wheel of the of the field. That's pretty shady. If that's pretty shady, gets into first place. That is my overtake of the race so far. Somebody's going to have to beat that. Making that move work is very tough. And anyone who's made that move knows it's tough. Because it's tough to it's tough to go two cars into that corner without one sacrificing too much. But they made it work. He set that up lovely, man. James compromises entry into the corner, and that's pretty shady. Got a good exit, even though they both touched the gravel. But this fighting is good because Knuster is getting closer and closer. And apparently he's been doing purpose, as I've been told by the director. 54, 6, 2, 3. Dude is flying. And that's pretty shady. Overshoots the first corner. Is Knuster going to get past? Yes, Knuster gets past. The recovery trip is officially Underway is Kristen gonna be able to get back in the lead? We'll see about that. As the gaggle of cars is still together, Nitro and Lucky seem to be trying to work their way through this, but it's it's tough, man. Look, look at this, man. Look at this. The French guy is out here sliding. What in the blue hell is going on with the French guy? He's all over the track. Poor guy stuck in this gaggle of cars, man. Hey, I'm just saying. I will find any reason to quit a race, and this should be a reason to quit. I ain't trying to race in a gaggle of cars, man. I don't mind battling, but being stuck in a gaggle of cars that drive in an unpredict unpredictable fashion, it, it ain't fun for me, man. I'm going to quit and join in the next race as the battle for the lead is going up. These guys are gone. No one can see them. They're all alone. The three musketeers out here, one in a McLaren, one in a Mercedes, and one in a BMW. Sorry, BMW. Say, I'll say it for you. On board with Mr. That's Pretty Shady, where he got the move started on James on the previous lap. But, through a mistake, he's now down into third place, and I wonder if he's going to be able to charge back for first place or get past Kristen, because Kristen seems to be on fire, as it looks like the Gagala cars is, is whittling down one car at a time, but it's not enough because we are on the penultimate lap. Heck, we are three quarters of the way through the penultimate lap. A to the final lap and I really hope we get to focus on this battle for the lead because it looks like it's getting hella intense. James is under pressure from Clouston. That's pretty shady out here watching from behind and I need some water because you just have me swallow a whole bunch of saliva out here because I am dehydrated like a mother kanaka. We don't cuss in this channel man. We do not cuss. Kid friendly out here. Gotta give me props because in life I'm cussing all the time. That's pretty shady. Catches up on to the on the brakes, catching up to Clouston. We in turn catch, get caught up to James. That's pretty shady. Gets a bit of the grass and he loses a bit of the ground. His car, like I said, man, this M3, it's gutless. It revs to the moon, but it just doesn't feel like it's going. And look at them leaving him out the corner. Unless you get good corner exits, you are pretty much screwed in that M3. And it looks like Clouston's trying to push James into a bit of a mistake, almost like that. That's pretty shady. Did a couple of laps ago, but James like, I ain't falling for that. This is a flexible corner. There's multiple entry lines. You ain't gonna stress me. I ain't a okay. I'm trying to get this win from a client out here. It's Clouston in the S bins. Clouston's always strong here. No matter how kind, he's one of the quickest guys I've seen in this section. But James is showing me he's just as quick. That's pretty shady. Looking quicker than all of them as he's catching up in the S bins. Clouston right next to James. That's pretty shady. Getting a whole bunch of slipstream. He says, I'm changing lines. It's gonna be three wide into the hairpin. Who is going to be in first? James keeps his first position. That's pretty shady. Gets another good overtake up into second place. Clouston down into third place. But this is far from over, man. It's far from over. Oh, goodness me. I am enjoying myself so much. Looks like James has this in the back, but the battle for second is still going. Unless James makes a mistake and it's a battle for first place again. Goodness gracious, man. I've been enjoying myself, man. <laughs> oh, stop. Hold on. Hold on. Hello? Um, why would I 
two, two. Why are you guys cool? I've missed something. What did I miss? Oh, James, that's pretty shady. And Cluston have become the first group to join the checkout crew, making James and Cluston double time inductees into the checkout crew. Lovely win from James. Oh my goodness, but this looks like there's still some action going on down in the field. Lucky's out here. They've left the gaggle of cars. Nitro got into fifth. The big bully is in fourth, but who's going to get them in the place? Who's gonna get the French guy? Lucky, they're south outside of the cross the line. Oh, I flick out a bit to say six for Lucky, but no, he got seventh place. Oh my goodness, so there was a whole bunch of stuff transpired, man. Sad that Menare went out, but ish. Kristen recovered, made the thick out battle. Those guys left everybody for dead, which is why they're in the checkout crew. But who? Let's get into these awards. My driver of the race goes to Kristen. Kristen was leading. In fact, he had everything under control. I do not know what happened here. He made a mistake, but he went on to get the fastest lap, two awards. And on top of that, he got to finish that, and he almost challenged for the lead again. After that, Kluston gets my drive off the race and fastest lap off the race. Overtake off the race goes to that's pretty shady, man. He set this overtake nicely. I didn't think you'd get it done, but look, he made sure to squash James because once you start trying to give space, you penalize yourself too much for the next corner. And he got it done. Flash the light, let him know. Hey, man, got this done, man. Thank you very much for your cooperation. I'm the fastest postman out here in, this, in, in, in these streets. Livery off of the race goes to that pretty shady again. And in that, okay, hold up. We need, we need to Google this. We need to Google this. Okay, live, 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 live. Because I, I like being able to pronounce things properly. Because I said Deutsche Post. But so I can't speak to my German friend right now. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Deutsche Post. Ah oh, ha Say them again, please, girl. Deutsche Post. Deutsche Post. I got this correct, man. You can't tell me nothing. That's pretty shady. Gets livery off the race, damn it. You guys know the deal. Nerf crew representing all day, every day. Peace out. What bam 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 b